Hello everybody and welcome back to the Starter City build where we are uh, working with a profiting city and we have some money to spend although that's going to get dried up pretty fast once we start getting the actual um, utilities down that are going to be required right now including uh, healthcare. Looks like we are, we are on, this is a European map so keep that in mind. There is a way to to kind of make it so that we can get all the assets at once but right now we're looks like we're putting down the the European uh, map stuff here. So we have uh, for low density that actually isn't going to change anything. All the low density should look uh, the same. Looks like we do have a little bit of a power issue that's actually way more of a problem. So let's go here and crank this back up to 150%. We've been doing that quite a bit. Um, if we could actually get enough money just to get a cold power plant, it might be way less annoying than whatever the heck we're doing over here. Not a big fan of this building in general, but uh, all of these builds that we've done have been economically really successful. So any lack of uh, sort of efficiency there, we you know I still think starting with the wind turbine is is 10 out of 10. Um, but we could then just go in with the coal power plant uh, just so that we don't have to be worrying about this so much. Because that's really our problem is uh, like we're, right now we're consuming. We, we need to go back up to speed three, actually. Let's get some more money going here. But yeah, there's definitely a little bit of a strain on the power. There always is. We're always constantly having to build more wind turbines, which to be fair, right? We can build uh, the wind turbines per week are much cheaper. So there's kind of a, that's kind of the reasoning behind um, doing that because, you know, the, the weekly income is more important than however much something costs or how much money you have, right? Once you have tons of money, the only way you can lose that is if this goes red. You can't really spend the money you have uh, later on, at least. Um, the fact that we're not getting power up to here is a little bit of a problem here. So we really, really, really do need to grab this this winter. Like this is kind of an emergency thing. So we'll get that down like ASAP. That'll give us more power. And now we kind of just need to earn money. When do we get our next milestone? Because we kind of need to just earn 200 pop. Okay. Kind of just need to earn a bunch of money. Get that better power option. This was sort of coming. Oh, we don't even have money for that. I guess it is what it is. You know what I mean? We gotta. See, this is where it'd be kind of nice to clip that zoning a little bit, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Especially a big area of residential that we can just kind of wait for it to, to grow in there pretty easily. I don't really like this design here at all, but um, again, it's just kind of filling the space we have. This is just kind of the nature, right, of starting a new city. It doesn't, it doesn't look interesting right away. It's, it's something that you, as you get the sort of the foundation of economy going and stuff like that, then you're going to be able to, to make it look better. You're going to be able to make it look better. I'm, I'm tempted to go in here, add this sucker down, waste all of our money that we're supposed to be spending on police stations and power stations, or uh, police station and fire stations. Spend that on the power station instead. Bring this way back down. In fact, we could probably even go below the 100. You know what? What the heck? We're making 1300 a week. I'm over here thinking. I'm over here thinking maybe we just take a loan and just go for it. What's the what's the what's the harm? Oh, we got to bring these up to twelve percent. That's going to be a lot more income, guys. <laughs> thinking about taking the loan reminds us that we got to go up to twelve percent here. We're going to see that's going to grow massively over the next couple weeks. Okay, let's let's wait like six or seven days to see kind of where we where our equilibrium is, right? We're making 2000 a week. That's good money. Like even if we took this $60,000 loan, it would only cost us 250 per week. That's nothing. We'd only be spending six that we have 6,000 right now in the bank. We'd basically be buying 60,000 bucks for, um, for 6,000 right now, or is sort of wasting 6,000. Then we get all that money, you know, money now is better than money later. We could totally just hit this button and just go to town. Um, or we can just not because we're making money and we could just hang out, chill out, and not have to rush everywhere. Um, interesting that we're actually running into uh, water issues. So we have our equilibrium here seems to be about uh, 2,500. 
It'll go down a little bit as we raise this back up, but not any amount that should be significant. Plus, that's going to be enough water for like for a long time. Um, let's get this road. If this road ends up drying up all of our finances, actually, we need to get those services in. Yeah, let's take that loan. Let's let's take a uh, let's take a loan. Again, the European. Uh, everybody gets the European assets for free, right? It just matters whether or not you're playing on a European map or not. Let's get the fire down. And then let's get the police down and hopefully, you know, I actually, I typically like putting the police station kind of more with the uh, commercial. I think there's a thematic element to that a little bit. It does say that we need more industry. So we'll just give it more industry for now. It's actually talking about needing residential, even though we have residential already down. Um, I think we want to get this road that we were talking about, this sort of... Uh, Boulevard Road connected up. I think we want to get that down. But now I'm just thinking Tiny Town has been hit, I repeat. That's a little bit of extra cash. I don't think there's anything we need to immediately place here. We do have parks though, right? We can use parks to jump uh, power from one area to another. So that's nice. So it's cool that we have parks and high schools, but we're not going to be spending that money at all. We could if we really wanted to boost this number up, right? We could totally go in here. We could just hit pay now and, and just spend that money. And just, I mean, heck, you could pay... The loan off and then take another loan you can do all kinds of great stuff we don't really need the loan anymore we'll take it if we need to because we don't need to build any of those things we just unlocked this is something i'd kind of like like if i could visualize how this sort of swings out it'd be kind of cool just to do something like that but that's almost too close to really have any amount of sort of personality i think maybe we bring this out to 70 but then now we're going to be hooking it back unless we swing it back away you know what? okay wait a second what if we do a 70 70 okay and then we hook it back in 70 70 this could work this could work eh, 70 80 80 this is a very important road very important road there is a nice sort of, man, what if we go 74, 74, does that all line up? It does, 74, 74 like lines up with other angles and stuff. You can see that it's matching here. So if we choose to go in this way, How much did that just cost us? Because now I'm actually questioning this. I'm thinking we should have gone harsher, sharper. Because it'd be nice if this was coming around sharper. And I'm trying to think what what angle would have made it sharper. Going bigger? No. Because it would have been cool if this came in like this and then like that. That's kind of the angle I wanted, like a swoop out and then a swoop, a tuck in. But in this case, it's, it's not really like, it's, it's just kind of lining up, like a, like a straight, which wasn't exactly the intention, right? That's just if we do it straight, it kind of all lines up, but I was hoping to kind of go more with this flow a little bit, kind of bring that out a bit, and then have to sort of swoop it up and in. So here, let's, let's, let's redo this. I, I don't know how exactly this is gonna get done. 20 out there, 20 out there. Makes sense that this will have to swoop up. This will have to turn over, but then it'll have to kind of turn again. So let's see if we can make this uh, come together here. This is an important road for the design of the city, I think. So I think building it a couple times is going to be is going to be worth it. I'm not sure how we get these two roads connected now because it's going to take two bends. We might just have to freestyle it. Probably a way to map this out.
I don't think that looks too bad. I don't think that looks too bad. And we have a little bit of an issue here, so we need to decide, does it go under or over? Does it go under or over the rail? You know what, I think actually the rail goes down. I think that stays flat, rail goes down. Like the depressed rail. Yeah, 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 let's try this. First, let's align it to here. Then let's keep kind of shrinking it down a little bit until it kind of looks good here, which that may or may not actually happen. Now what we could do is we could take all this, make this smooth, A to B. We could take all this and make it smooth, A to be using the Align Slope tool. That doesn't look great, but it doesn't look awful. It's a little bit of a jankiness kind of at this edge because I think it's behaving differently because, you know, this is outside the map, this is inside the map. So, so hopefully that'll be fine. People are using this actually, which is interesting. I think we could still make this old town once that's relevant, right? To kind of prevent people from doing this kind of a maneuver. Um, it would actually kind of make sense too if there was like a triangular like, like something out like that could be kind of cool. And then it kind of makes sense that there'd be something from over here that would come in this way. Man, if we could go parallel with those. Um... This could be neat. This right here could be kind of neat. I like it. I like it. You just go for it. Kind of a weird angle. I mean, do we want to make this more of like a, a 45 or something? No. Let's just go for it. We have the lines here. Let's go for it. This needs to get moved. We're going to use move it to move it. A little bit of a cheat, but it's not really a cheat. It's just you can't move these buildings right without like move it or something. So it's good to see someone's actually using that road though. So we'll put that over there. Uh, someone is wanting to use this road. Very nice. It doesn't explicitly need to be a one way, but I think it'd be kind of cool to kind of make it seem like this was all kind of like looping around and around and around. I mean, honestly, I'm almost tempted to like take this. Oh, that's the wrong direction. See, now I'm thinking about making like, yeah, let's let's spin this sucker around. Except for if we spin this around, that's now kind of going. This is all looking kind of weird, right? What are we doing? Left hand traffic or something over here? I don't know. I'm liking. I'm liking the idea of having a road that sort of goes up, like like sort of swerves around and goes parallel like this, and and hooks around and goes along this area, and and we were talking about that actually, right? We were talking about having a uh, something or other that um, maybe if it. What if it went? How would we make it go at this angle? Right, so if we let's just pause the game, let's build this. This is where chaos, right? We're getting some chaos going here. So we could do something like this. What is this actual angle right here? Will it tell us? <laughs> oh, 118. So we built that. How would we? We got to do so. So if this is if this is a if that's a 118, right? That means that if we did this, and then we did that. We get a twenty a twenty eight degree angle. Okay, that's close. That's close. But see, what I'm thinking is, if this comes out like that, it kind of looks like it actually doesn't though. I like the way this looks because that actually shows that this these are the same road, right? This if this is uh, Alexander Street, this is Alexander Street. That that's essentially what you know how it would kind of be in in, in an actual um, heck, and you can even do something like you could do something like we're just going crazy now, but you could do something like that. Um, I think that actually looks kind of neat. I think that looks kind of neat. 
this could uh, swoop and go parallel. Maybe if we, I mean, we're just doing all kinds of, of, of sort of like techniques over here. saying it's a 90. That means if we go out straight here. Oh yeah. That's our road. That is our road. I'm thinking this is looking interesting, guys. I'm thinking this is coming along. We haven't really built much in terms of getting the pop-up or anything, but I think we're at least kind of, um, kind of doing something. Here's the question. Over or under right here? Over or under? This is kind of the, the bulk bulkier of the road. This is kind of more, I think we go under. I think we go under, we're set to that right now. Let's just, you know, let's put straight slope on with the fine road tools. Let's go down, no, uh, you mean maybe just a minus 10. Get rid of the node snapping. That needs to get flipped back. I don't know why. Uh, why did straight slope not work there? We'll. Uh, that's fine. We'll. Uh, we'll fix that. It almost kind of seems like this would make sense if. Um, whoops, that's the wrong bit. What's the distance here? It's just four. Okay. Bring it up four. Bring it back around it there. Oh yeah. Done. Elevate this road and I think we are looking good. Yeah. Looking good. Be very easy to go into here. Grab that node. Grab here. And just straighten these out with the slope tool. Perfect. Perfect. These can then come back up. Did that? How long did it take for us to go down? It took us 20, right? So we could go up with 20. Or we could be a little bit more aggressive with it. It just kind of depends how we want to do that. It's weird how the straight slope is working on one side and not the other, but I guess that's just how it goes. Um, something's different about that. Now we can fix this stuff easy. That gets us down into this area, right? Where I think this road, right, is ultimately going to swoop through, sort of stab through this area at a weird kind of an angle, and then pop out over here. And maybe it freestyles with the water. Maybe it just goes very geometric up and around, and it, it sort of comes into here, hooks into there. Once it gets to here, I think it's just going to go right back into the industrial area. So I think, yeah, I think let's let's actually set this up um, basically as far out as we can. Yeah, that's a 90, good. This is going to be a weird kind of like loop. It'd be kind of nice if it went with this curve, but I, I think it's got to be its own thing. It's got to do its own thing. Um, I'm not really necessarily thinking about that angle and thinking we need to replicate that angle. I mean, heck, if we were going to go with the power lines, we'd... No, I think we'd want to go sharper than the power lines. Maybe we, yeah, maybe we build this side first. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, we're going crazy with this. Let's... <laughs> we have we have a lot of demand. We also have money coming in. For some reason, we're not playing on speed three. That was just a little bit of an oversight. But let's uh, let's take a pause here, guys. Let's take a pause here. And we will, uh, we will keep going with this, but I'm really actually liking, it. I'm getting excited about this city. So thank you so much, everybody, for, uh, for hanging out, and I will see you guys in the next one.